going to talk about how engineers think. And so uh, one of the ways engineers work through problems is the engineering design process. And if you just Google that, you'll come up with thousands of images. Um, one of them, like this one from the Massachusetts uh, Technology Framework, has eight steps in a nice big circle. Um, one of them from engineering is elementary, where they simplified it for elementary school students, but still in a circle, same idea. And the one we're going to talk about for the most part is even more simplified, but it's still the same idea where you have this kind of back and forth process where you're figuring out what the problem is, you're exploring solutions, you're figuring out or optimizing them, making them better, making them better, and you keep kind of going back and forth between these two. And then when it's, you think it's good enough, you tell someone about it. And then they might say, no, you're going to have to go back and redesign or make it a little bit better. Or, and so you're kind of still following this process. And even when it's ready to be released, assuming you make money, you're still going to go back and repeat that process. Like the iPhone is a good example. Um, they released the first one, and then what do the engineers do? They don't sit back and <laughs> have a cocktail. They, uh, they go and try and make it better. And then you have the iPhone 2 or iPhone S. I don't remember which came next. It doesn't matter. They keep going back and making it better. They keep going back and making it better. They keep following this process. And, um, and that's what you're going to be doing. Um, one of the things that is kind of key of this process is called failing productively. In other words, if something doesn't work, you don't just throw it away. You say, okay, what's good about this and what can be better next time? Um, and uh, throughout this whole process, I hope that's what you're thinking. And, and I'm going to help you try and um, work through this so that it becomes part of your metacognitive process. Um, but that's the idea behind engineering thinking. Thank you.